Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive and this morning we're visiting with Sarah Hatch. She's family coordinator at the Sanders Brown Center on Aging. Well, today, Sarah, you are going to give us some tips on ways that we can focus on healthy aging. Yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. We're all aging. We, you know, As soon as we're born, we start that aging process. Um, and so these really are the basics, um, things that we've heard all of our lives. Um, but as I go over them, um, sometimes I hear people say it's just too overwhelming to change everything. And that's kind of not the focus. Um, little changes can make huge impacts. So when we talk about the basics, we're talking about exercise, diet, some lifestyle choices, um, and connecting with others and how important socialization is. COVID taught us that more than anything, that we need each other and we need to connect. Um, so like I said, it's the basics. Ideally with exercise, you know, we want to get moving 20 minutes a day. Um, but sometimes that's not realistic for everybody. So I say just get your body moving. If that means doing some extra stretches, if that means getting out of your chair every so often to go, um, you know, rearrange something or check on something. If it's raking the leaves, sweeping the floor, the goal is just to get your body moving. When it comes to diet, there's a lot of diets out there. So I think of what more of kind of some choices to make. Try to increase your leafy greens that you eat. Maybe try to increase your berries. Get it a couple of times a week instead of once a month. Um, maybe switch out some of those oils that you use to go for healthier ones, some healthier proteins. Maybe choose to drop out meats one day and focus on beans um, as a protein source. Um, and then decreasing some things. Maybe reduce the amount of fried foods you have by once a week, you know, um, so instead of five times a week, you're doing it four times a week. Ideally, they say, you know, one to two times a week for fried food, but sometimes that's tough. Yeah. Um, same thing with sweets. Um, maybe reduce the amount of sweets you have a little bit. And those small changes can make a big impact as we age. Um, lifestyle factors. So some big ones. Focus on your sleep. Sleep has become very important. Um, research after research study says how important sleep is. And it's true. If we don't sleep well, we don't feel well. Um, so focus on trying to get good quality sleep by staying active. Um, our mood, depression is not a normal part of aging. And that's a big thing to push is that if you are feeling depressed or struggling with some feelings, talk to a doctor, um, seek some help because depression is not a normal part of aging. Um, and some of those other lifestyle things, um, if you're smoking, try to decrease or quit, um, be mindful of the alcohol that you have and kind of leave that on the smaller side. Um, and then again, the socialization, connecting with others, um, try a new hobby, try something new, get, join a group, um, be intentional, pick up that phone, call a loved one, call a friend, make those connections. Um, so it's those basic things, but again, small little things, um, increasing, decreasing different things can make a huge impact. Sarah, I'm so glad, uh, that you emphasize that it's okay that we don't change everything all at once because that can be overwhelming exactly. and might not be very realistic like you exactly said. so just starting small and taking little steps at a time I think is makes me feel like this is so much more achievable right and exactly and that's never too late to start so it doesn't matter at what age you are there's always something you can change tweak and do a little bit different um, that can make a big impact on your health Something I have heard recently that is important for aging um, and keeping your brain active is by challenging your mind. Uh, but one of the keys to that is we have some people who are expert sewers and who could just sit and um, sew and have a conversation. That might not be the right challenge for their mind if it's something that they know well. Is that right? Exactly. That's what we say, kind of try something new. Like okay. find a new hobby. Um, now keep doing the sewing because that's still good. But again, right. challenging yourself. So trying something new, a new technique in sewing. Um, and sometimes that sewing and talking can be right. that extra yeah. thing. Doing it socially with other people can be really important. Yeah, I've even uh, heard of someone buying a Lego kit. They make adult Lego kits. Yeah. Um, puzzles, chess, checkers, crocheting. Yeah, it's really just kind of like a new skill. So I have I know people who've decided to take up piano um, in their 70s because it's something they've always wanted to do, just never had the time. So they, they've started to take piano or learn a new language um, or learn something with their grandkids and do something with their grandkids to kind of keep them on the spot, helping them out. Thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.